everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am unofficially uh, joining in with the YouTube Artist Collective theme. If you don't know what the YouTube Artist Collective is, it is a whole group of amazing artists on YouTube. And they have a Facebook page and basically what happens is that they all collaborate together once every two months, I believe. And yeah, the theme is actually voted on by uh, everyone in their Facebook group. So yeah, I will link that down below in case you don't know what that is. And you can go and check it out. And also check out all the other artists as well. So for this month's theme is actually World in a Bottle. And I know I'm not an official member or anything like that. However, when I heard the theme, I was like... Wow, that's really awesome and I just really, really, really wanted to join in on the theme because the art sounded really cool. So as you saw, I sketched and inked out the piece on um, my iPad. I actually used the program Procreate on my iPad Pro and I used my Apple Pencil to draw that. And yeah, I, I was thinking of doing a sort of uh, artwork where there is a bottle floating around in space. Uh, because it's a world and obviously there's a little world inside the bottle But my main objective was that I wanted to have water kind of tipping out of the bottle and like flowing Because I don't know I just thought that that would look really cool and I don't know It was just an aesthetic that I really wanted to try out so yeah, for this artwork, I am using my Copic markers, uh, mostly Copic Chows, I believe. I'm not sure if I actually used my very few sketches in this artwork, so it's probably mostly Chows. And yeah, I actually printed this off with coloured line art because I really love that look at the moment. I think with coloured line art, it just gives a little bit of a softer look to it. And as you can see, I also put a black outline around them. And that was mainly because I plan on painting this in with a black background, uh, with my black ink. And I wanted to use my black ink so it was really, really dark. And I was really worried about uh, ruining the delicate line art. So I made sure to put a bit of a black border around that as well, just so I could easily do it without having too much risk of uh, covering up the liner with the black ink. So for the color choices I obviously wanted the sky and the water to be different so I actually used a BG cool gray no not cool gray a cool shadow <laughs> marker for the sky and I actually really love that color because it's blue enough that it does look like a sky however it has a much warmer tone to it and it, it's kind of interesting and I don't know and mystical I guess because of it, it's not exactly blue it's like that perfect in-between stage between blue and green so yeah I wanted to obviously have water in this artwork and I tried to have a sort of transparent water effect on a little bit of uh, sand and uh, fish and a little bit of coral underneath the water because I really wanted to have a sort of cross section because this is a bottle so therefore you're going to see what's under the water and yeah I wanted to have little fish floating around in there because I thought it would be pretty cute. Now I mainly did basically warm colors for this artwork the blue is obviously uh, very cold however i did want that water to stand out very muchly <laughs> i mainly used a lot of greens in this artwork very minimal red mainly only on the boat that is in the foreground and yeah, for this artwork, I tried to make a, a difference between the foreground, midground, and obviously the background. So in the foreground, we have that boat and the water. And then in the midground, as you can see, I'm painting in lots of little, very, very tiny details of uh, trees and little huts. Because I also wanted to have uh, a few different areas in this artwork that are different uh, parts of the world. So as you can see, I have an ocean uh, aspect to the artwork and I also have a little beach aspect. Uh, when I eventually move my hand, you'll be able to see that. And I also have a bit of cliffs and a bit of foresty look to it with also a palm tree because to be honest, I really wanted to add something in that corner of the artwork because it was a little bit plain. 
but yeah also I have mountains and then um, sky but you also deep in the background you can see I have done a little castle now I absolutely love castles I love the fantasy aspect to it and I, I don't know ever since I was little I was always obsessed with drawing castles and I kind of want to get back into that as you can tell a few of my artworks recently have had castles in them um, most notably my digital art that I did for Jazz's challenge of the month and yeah, I, just, I don't know, I just really like having little details hidden in there like that. So as for the green, I mainly used a grass green, a bit of greyish olive, which is a bit of a dark uh, desaturated green that I have. And also my new uh, new leaf marker. And yeah, for the for the parts behind the forest where it's sort of darker I used a bit of forest green and pine tree green and a little bit of spectrum green for the lighter leaves sticking up behind that I have lots of little mountains and I used mainly my cool grays for that and then for contrast I added a bit of sand and a bit of uh, I believe it was carob cocoa with also a little bit of golden yellow over the top for the castle and then yeah um for the pine tree i used a couple different browns and then some greens as well yeah this artwork is actually pretty interesting um i don't know i really wanted to get that flowy water that's coming out of the bottle now i know it looks pretty odd because well all the water in their world is pouring out and to be honest i feel bad for them because what if their water is tipping out and they're gonna run out of water so I kind of feel mean for drawing that however uh, you could you could probably say that maybe their water is infinite I don't know I mainly did that flowing pouring out water for like an aesthetic and because it would make an interesting uh, shape let's just say magic that's my excuse for them not running out of water or the reason water's coming out magic that way they don't they're not dying now after I did all of that I wanted to add a little bit more into the sky because it felt a little bit boring so I added some little birds and actually looks pretty cute and yeah I colored in the sun down in the corner and I wanted that to have a very warm feel to it and then obviously a little moon which is probably floating around the bottle though you could probably say the bottle is probably floating around the moon because to be honest what gravitational pull does a bottle have I don't know I I don't really look into the science of this drawing I kind of just decide to draw it because it looked cool but hey maybe you guys could decide on that now as for the background I painted it in using my black uh, waterproof drawing ink and I also used a bit of contact uh, book it's mainly book covering contact but yeah I used that to mask out the areas which I obviously didn't want the background because to be honest I am so messy and I would probably ruin it however yeah it turned out pretty well now as for uh, the stars, I actually ran out of contact so I used a bit of uh, adhesive vinyl which is a bit silly, however it worked alright but um, I actually used my hairdryer to dry it and I guess that made parts of it leak so the stars don't look very nice right now, however I went back over that with my uh, brush pen which is a black, has black ink in it so therefore I fixed up the stars that way. Now I wanted some of these stars to obviously look unrealistic, they're like that typical star shape and I wanted to use my uh, my metallic ink for those and then other than that I added some little stars here and there with my white gel pen just to add a little bit more visual interest. Uh, oh yeah and after that I basically painted in some little clouds, very tiny clouds with some white paint because I thought that the background looked still a little bit boring and of course I love to paint clouds and things. And yeah here is the final piece and I'm actually really really happy with this. I think it's very cute. Um, I don't know I just I really like the fantasy aspect to it I guess. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe and also check out my social media accounts for little updates and all that stuff. Link is in the description below. So yeah, again, thanks and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!